Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's 2021 and we're trying to get more content onto YouTube. I, first of all, how is everyone? How's everyone's new year been going? I've done absolutely nothing. I've just been at home eating, getting fat and growing a mustache. That's my 2021 so far, I grew a mustache. That's growing ginger. So love that for me. Uh, no, but I have been like putting a list together of all the videos that I wanna film for YouTube and like what I want to bring to YouTube this year for you all to learn from and enjoy and this tutorial wasn't actually one that was going to be on my list but over Christmas and like a lot recently I've just kind of been like I've basically been feeling like crap and just feeling like ugly and depressed and shit so I was like you know what like I've been like putting like a little bit of makeup on and doing my hair and like getting dressed up at home just to make myself feel a little bit better and taking like cute pictures and stuff and a lot of people have been DMing me being like oh my god you should do a tutorial for your everyday makeup routine because it just looks so fresh and it doesn't look like you're wearing anything so I was like oh that's something I could 100% do so I put it on my story who wants it for Instagram or YouTube everyone was like YouTube so here we are basically <laughs> now this this tutorial is basically going to show you how I've prepped my skin with some skincare items the foundation concealer and all that and how I make it just last and look really beautiful and perfect all day long and all night now it's currently like 4 30 like 16 38 this makeup routine takes me like 15 minutes if i'm doing it quick half an hour if i want to take my time so i'm going to do that and then we'll do some like little check-ins so you can just see how it lasts and how it works throughout the day so then you know that like the products that i'm using like it's not just me being like oh i love it so much and then you buy it and you're like oh my god it's crap so you're actually gonna see them like how it lasts and how it works. I'm not gonna be doing it in my studio because if I'm like upstairs, chilling in my room, watching a film, playing on my Nintendo Switch, I'm not really gonna be asked coming downstairs to get home in my studio. So I'm just gonna do it off my phone and I'll just be like, yo, look, you can see no creases, I'm still looking good, how are we doing? Brilliant, if you catch the gist of that. And then also, if you kind of like this video where I'm doing like checking so you can see if the makeup is lasting and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments and then we can do that like more, more often. Um, what else do I need to cover in this intro because it's getting really long? I don't think I need to cover anything else. So I'm just going to shut up and let's just jump straight into this everyday makeup routine. So my hair's out of the way and now we can move on to step one. Now, the, the step number one is skincare. And you want to think of skincare of like the petrol for a car. You can't drive anywhere if your car has no petrol in it. Therefore, your makeup will not last throughout the day without skincare because the skincare is really going to feed the skin and make sure it just lasts and stays looking beautiful all day. Now... I am an absolute, what's the word I'm looking for? I like skincare. Like I would rather spend 20 minutes doing skin and five minutes on makeup rather than five minutes on skin prep and then 20 minutes on makeup, if that makes sense. So you really wanna make sure that you're using products that you love and that you know work for you. The ones that I'm gonna be showing in the video are ones that like I've really been loving and enjoying and I've been using for like a long time. So again, you just wanna find those favorites that you know just really work for you. So my first product is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Serum Oil. What? No. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. This stuff is literally insane. You can see how much I've used of it. It's honestly one of my favorite skincare items at the moment. Like it's so insane. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to put like a couple of dot drops into the palm of my hand and then rub it all over my face. And I'm really concentrating it on like the high points of my skin just to make sure that like everywhere where I want to be glowy, is gonna be super, super glowy. Now for a serum, I like to use these two. Now you're probably thinking that was a serum. It was, but because it's so watery, it just really soaks down into the skin further and I feel like it helps everything else soak down further as well. And my skin just feels plumper and more hydrated by using that one first. So what I like to do with these is I use the first trap one th first and then I use the glass skin from Peach and Lily after that. And one thing I am doing with the hyaluronic acid, which is what this serum is, is I'm really just making sure I'm getting it on my under eyes to make sure that when I do go to put concealer on, my under eyes are so hydrated that my concealer will just stay nice and beautiful and creamy and won't crease. And then with the glass skin primer, I like to just put like a little bit on the back of my hand like this. And then what I'll do is, I'll just get it like on my, like my ring finger like this. And then I just really concentrate this on my cheekbones 
and anywhere where I get like a little bit of texture because it helps really refine the pores and it helps to make them not look as large and it just helps to give you that really glowy glass skin. Now I can't, I can't express how important this next step is and it's eye cream. I use two and that's because I don't use powder on my under eye. So when I put my concealer on, I need to make sure that my under eyes are so hydrated and so hydrated and just not dry that my concealer is not going to crease and that the the hydration is going to feed the concealer all throughout the day to make sure that it just doesn't crease. So I like to use two. This is the P. Louise Eye Toning one and it's a, like a thinner consistency. And then this is the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. And I like to use this one first and then this one. And then I'll use like a little bit of the Silk Peony. And by a little bit, I mean, I use like this much of my finger just for like both eyes. And then whatever's left on my finger, I rub into my lips. Now I'm going to use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Now you know if you've watched like any of my videos, like this is literally one of my favourite moisturisers. It's just a really beautiful, thick, rich moisturiser that really, really helps to just make sure everything is just super, super glowy. And again, I'm keeping the moisturiser mainly on all the high points of my skin, just to make sure that that glow is really going to come through. Okay, so after all this, I'm going to be really real with you. You don't really need a primer. Like, primers are not really needed. And some of you are probably thinking like, what? Hear me out. If you've done all this skin prep and your skin is like so plump and you can just see how like glowy my skin looks and my skin just feels so soft and so beautiful, you don't really need to be going in with like a hydrating primer or a nourishing primer because your skincare should have done all that. Primers I can get behind are things like these two here. The Tatcha Silk Canvas because it actually blurs pores and imperfections and makes your skin look more flawless. This one, the Milk Hydro Grip, it makes your makeup last longer because it just is so sticky and your makeup just goes to it. Those are the primers I can get behind, but if you've just done all this skin prep and then someone's like, oh, use a hydrating primer, then your skin prep hasn't done enough because you shouldn't need more hydration if you've gone in with all that. Does that make sense? I don't sound crazy. But the primer I am going to be using today is the Elemis Superfood Glowing Primer. I'm using this because of how glowy and glossy it makes your skin look. That's why we're going to be using it because it just makes for a beautiful makeup base. I've done all my skin prep and I want more radiance. You can see I am looking glowy, but I want more. I want more glow. So we're going to go in with this one. So you can just see my skin looks super glowy and you're probably thinking, at least it probably just looks the same. Look. I think it looks nice and I do feel like my makeup lasts longer and looks more flawless when I do use that primer. So that's why I like to use it. But now we're going to move on to my mustache. <laughs> and I've just recently started doing like my hair but into my mustache. So I'm going to be using the Sensorium Brow Engineer Intense Pigment Paint in Platinum to do my blonde side of my mustache. And then I'm just going to use the Ardell um, Top and Bottom Mascara to do the black side. And then my mustache just matches my hair and I feel like it just looks like a vibe. Like some of you will be like, mm, I don't really like it, I really care. It's a vibe. Black and white hair, black and white mustache. But it's cute, so let's just move on to foundation now. Now my favorite foundation at the moment for every day, and I wear it for drag as well, that's how good it is, because you can really build it, shear it down, and it just looks beautiful on the skin, is the Krylon Digital Complexion Foundation. Now, putting this out there right now, I bought this and when I went onto the website to buy it, the shade range was not it. They have like 30 shades, but the deeper end needs to have some work. So I'm hoping that when people do use this and they hopefully can talk about that. So hopefully Krylon will maybe add to the deeper range because it's a beautiful foundation and it's literally like one of my favorite foundations of all time. It's so stunning. There is another downside to it. It's self setting. So when you apply it wet, the colour it is once it's set is darker. Now that's not oxidisation. Oxidisation is where you apply a foundation and it gradually oxidises with the air throughout the day and it gets darker and more orange as the day goes by. That doesn't happen. It's just, you apply it, it's 
wet and it's lighter and as you buff it into the skin it sets itself and it's a little bit darker. So I've just put a little bit of 04 and 06 on the back of my hand. I'm just going to pick them up on my brush and then I'm just going to start working them into the skin. And you can just see like how beautiful that looks. And I only used a pump and a half of the product and I've still got some on the back of my hand because I just feel like you really don't need that much of it because it just goes a long way. And the brush I'm using is a My Perfect Powder, the 011S from my kit car. So this is what my skin looks like. It looks super fresh, super glowy. You can see the color is a good match. You do have to play scientist by doing like, I did a pump of the lighter one and then like a quarter of a pump of the darker one to get my right color. But I'm happy to do all of that because it is such a beautiful, beautiful finish and foundation. But let's do concealer. Now, my favorite concealer for every day is the Flex Concealer from Milk Makeup. It's just beautiful. It doesn't move. It gives me like good coverage whilst looking practically invisible. And I'm just gonna put it all over my face and I'll just show you where I like to conceal. So I just do all these areas here just to kind of brighten my under eye, lift my outer edge, and just put like a little bit of brightness around my complexion. I'm just gonna use that same foundation brush just to blend everything in. And now that my concealer's blending in, you can just see everything just looks so fresh, so clean. If I lean in, you can see here like, there's literally no creasing on my under eyes and that's just how it stays. The concealer is so pretty and so beautiful and it lasts really well, but I also find that the combo of the eye creams as a base really helps to make it just last and stay crease proof. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna use the cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty and I use a shade Butter Biscuit. I'm gonna use like a big brush like this. Oops, there's a hair on that. Pretend I didn't just <laughs> do that. And as you can see, like I'm just stamping the bronzer in on the high points of my cheekbones, a little bit underneath, and bringing it forwards. And I'll do like a little bit on my forehead and down my nose, just a little bit. And I just find that this gives me like a nice little sun-kissed tan look without looking like I'm wearing lots of tan. Then I do like to do a little bit of cream blush. So I'm gonna use the blush from Mama Mitchell. And I use like the tiniest bit. And this is just to add like a nice little warmth and sun-kissedness to my skin again. So I'll just put like a little dot like that and using the same brush and just tap that in and around my cheeks and up a little bit like that. And that just gives you like a really healthy flush of color, helps to lift the face, beautiful. And now look at that, my skin just looks kind of sun-kissed, super flawless, super glowy, and it looks like I'm wearing like literally like no product. Now there's a couple of steps left to do, but that's pretty much it. These are just like extra touches. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Kevin Aquan light sculpt powder on a little pencil brush like this. And I just like to put this around my socket like this. And I look down so I can get right into the depth of my eye here. And I just find that this just helps make my eyes look super big and super rounded. And then with that same powder and the same brush, I just put a little bit on my lower waterline. And this gives the tiniest amount of definition, but still makes your eyes look awake and super, super like big without it being like heavy and dark and browns and blacks. It's just like a nice, subtle, but effective little trick. Then we're just gonna lock all that into place and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Setting Spray, Pie All Day Style Night Setting Spray. Just give it a little shake and then spritz away. And then I just like to fan it dry to help everything soak in. So now I'm gonna do it with the Marc Jacobs Recover Coconut Hydrating Lip Oil. I'm just gonna put this all on my lips like this. Like that, and that literally is my everyday makeup routine.
So I was an idiot and I didn't do a timestamp of when my makeup was finished, but it was like 10 past 5 ish. Now it's 6 pm now, and you can see that my makeup still looks super, super like fresh. Like there's no creases, there's no nothing. This is my real skin. So you can see everything. Now I just ordered some food because I am so, so hungry and I just wanted some greasy takeaway food. So that is on its way now. It's been an hour. Everything still looks the exact same. I'll be back in in a couple of hours maybe with like another check-in. But yeah. So I thought it was going to be really cute, me doing all these check-ins, like going onto my phone, filming it, being like, Ooh, it's not actually that cute. And I feel like in future, I'm probably just going to do them in my studio. But it is now quarter past eight in the evening. And as you can see, everything looks the same. Like it literally looks the same. So this is check-in number two. I'm probably going to do one more, maybe in like a couple more hours. But like we've had the makeup on now since five o'clock and it's like eight o'clock now, which is three hours of like where, pardon me, I've eaten food. I had a curry, which was spicy. And like, I haven't, like nothing bad has happened. Like I had to like sweat my makeup or something like that. Um, so here's my last check-in. It's 12.30 at night. I've just finished watching the sun and I'm like so tired and I forgot to do this and I was like, oh, you can see outside it is like pitch black outside. Um, this is my makeup. It's the same. I've had it on since five o'clock, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, twelve, seven hours. Not moved. It literally looks the exact same as when I applied it. I don't look too shiny. Well, I look shiny, like a good shiny, but yeah, as you can see, it literally lasts. Doesn't move. Again, if I was to wear this for even longer, it would just stay put as well. Um, what else do I need to say? I don't know. I think I've already said everything. So I'm going to wrap this up, jump back into the studio where I've already pre-filmed that outro. So that's going to play in a second. I'm going to take my makeup off. But yeah, here it is. Seven hour wear and it still looks fresh and good to go. And here's my finished everyday makeup look. As you can tell, like, it is super super simple it's just something that i chuck on go and it's just super fresh super wearable and lasts like literally all day long like it just doesn't move now if you liked this kind of video of doing like more wearable makeup looks then definitely let me know down in the comments what other kind of wearable or more toned down makeup looks you would like to see and i can definitely try and add some of them to the list of all the crazy other videos that i want to film um, cause it would be nice to do some more stuff for you all that you all really want to see as well. Because I know a lot of the time it's me just being like, I'm a statue, I'm alien, I'm a drag queen. So I think it would be nice if you all could put some suggestions of other things you would like to see and then I can get around to doing them. But yeah, definitely let me know what you thought of this video and if there's any products in the video that you kind of want to know anything more about or any products that you loved. Leave any questions and comments as usual down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I guess that concludes today's video. So if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Definitely let me know down in the comment section what other videos you would like to see and I will get around to doing as many of them as I possibly can. And I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.